The Prime Minister has conceded Australians are frustrated with the handling of the Omicron outbreak over summer. But Scott Morrison has avoided taking any further responsibility for the ongoing shortage of rapid antigen tests. Today, the government announced rebates for backpackers and students as it tries to fill workforce shortages. A treasurer walking the halls, a Prime Minister addressing the nation, both part of a government under pressure. I just want to start by being very upfront with Australians that I can assure you that I and all the members of my government, and have no doubt all the premiers and chief ministers, understand just how frustrating this summer has been for Australians. A stump speech in the midst of the Omicron outbreak selling the government's economic efforts as hospitalisations and COVID fatalities spike to record highs. The Omicron variant has caused great disruption. There are enormous challenges right now. Our hospital system is under great pressure. Food supplies too. They have these problems over in the UK, just like we have them here or in France or in Spain. The PM publicly pushing state premiers to ease testing requirements on workers to free up supply chains. They can change that right now by regulation. But Scott Morrison continues to reject assertions that his government could have acted before August to secure the millions of extra rapid antigen tests now needed to constrain a strain choking the economy. What has changed is the level of demand, and that happened because of Omicron. The new strain isn't the only factor to blame. State border reopenings and dialed down restrictions also saw demand increase. Moves advocated by the Prime Minister well before Christmas. Now he wants Australia to ride out the wave. As we face Omicron, we must respect it, but we should not fear it. The fatality rate in the United States per head of population has been 24 times that of Australia. But even the United States is warning its residents against travelling down under. Still, to attract students and backpackers, the Commonwealth will slash visa fees, hoping they will fill jobs. And my message to them is, come on down. We're putting out the welcome mat to 175,000 students and working holidaymakers to come to Australia. Scott Morrison has flagged potential changes to isolation requirements, but only if ticked off by health authorities. It would see the isolation time frame reduced from seven days down to five days, bringing us in line with other countries. It would, though, see some people return to work while still infectious.